Hey guys, it's Megan and you're watching Life Size Beauty. So as some of you know, I'm actually going to Bonnaroo this week. It is a music festival in Manchester, Tennessee. Kanye West is going to be there, Elton John is going to be there, all kinds of amazing people. I actually won the opportunity to perform on stage at Bonnaroo twice, actually three times. I'm playing three times at Bonnaroo, thanks to Ford and What's Trending. And so I have been trying to figure out what I'm going to pack, what I need to bring. First, let's start with makeup. So everything that I am bringing makeup wise fits in this bag. This is my Ipsy bag. Uh, I mentioned in my previous video that I use these for all kinds of things, but I don't want to bring a lot of palettes or product because the reality is that I just want to go and have fun and walk around. So I'm not going to be wearing a ton of makeup, but everything that I'm wearing that is in this bag is on my face right now. So I can dress up and get fancy if I want, but I can pare it down if need be. Usually I will go out before I travel and I will buy some cheaper brushes. This is an e.l.f. brush. These are at Walgreens, CVS, pretty much Target, any place you can go. These cost like a dollar, two dollars maybe, and they're just a good option to have. Uh, so when you're traveling, you're not super worried about losing an expensive brush that you paid a million dollars for at Sephora. Um, the reality is I'm going to walk around the sun a lot and I'm probably going to get tan, so any foundations I have are really not going to match up. So I am bringing this Laura Mercier light foundation in nude. This is super lightweight, it's oil free and SPF 20, which always is helpful. And I'll be bringing a powder. This is Laura Mercier in Tender Rose. I use this all of the time. And these will be good options just if I want to feel a little bit more covered than just completely natural. But I can build them up or use as little of them as I want. When you're traveling, if you're going to bring a palette, it is important to bring something that is multifunctional. So I'm bringing the Too Faced Matte Eye Palette. This is good because again, a lot of shimmer, not good in the face when you're sweating and it's a million degrees in Tennessee. I use this all the time. Uh, this is what's on my eyes right now. I use this a lot in videos. Um, but these are good matte shades. I also use this dark brown right here for my eyebrows so I'm not having to bring an entire extra set of stuff. You can kind of create a lot of different looks if you want to. Again, drugstore finds. Things that are good that if you're traveling you lose, you won't be really upset. I got some e.l.f. palettes. Uh, one of these is a contouring blush and bronzer palette. So I have this pretty pink that I can use on my cheeks. Fun, fun. And I also have a contour color if need be. This is the golden bronzer palette from e.l.f. I like to use this light shade down here as a highlighter. Um, but you can kind of just sweep around and use this for an overall glow. At an event like this, I kind of just would rather look glowy and light and not super done up. So I'm bringing a brown eye highlighter. This is Milani in Matte Cream and Luminous Lift 02. These are good for under the brow bone, also uh, the Cupid's bow above your lip. Uh, you can use them as a highlighter kind of on the bridge of your nose, on your cheeks. Super easy trick and you get two different shades for the price of one. Super dope. I fell in love with this Pixie Coral Crush lip balm that I got in my Birch Box this month. It's just going to be super good for the heat. And finally, mascara. This is They're Real by Benefit. My friend Lisa turned me on to this and she said this was like the best mascara ever. So uh, I've been using it for videos. I really, really like it. And it's shiny, so... So this week I'm embracing my natural hair and I'm just going to have to go wavy. Uh, you guys don't often see the wavy hair, but this is my real hair. And I'm already going to be in the sun, so I really don't need to be adding any extra heat. This is my new favorite product. Uh, my lovely friend Zoya Coffee Girl, who does my hair and keeps me very blonde, um, recommended this. It is the Pureology Color Fanatic Multitasking Hair Beautifier. This has a million different things it does. It just helps with split ends and breakage and just protecting it in general. And I'll be walking around in a lot of sun and heat, so this can never hurt. Also, this Pantene Pro V Curl Enhancer Spray Gel. I am obsessed with this mostly because of the smell. I don't know. Oh, it just smells so clean and so good. Dry shampoo. Uh, the trick to dry shampoo is actually not waiting until your hair is kind of super greasy to put it in. You put this in the night before so you wake up and your hair has more volume. You kind of already dealt with the oil. Pantene Pro V Original Fresh Dry Shampoo smells so delicious. Pantene Pro V products, oh my god, they smell so good. I want to live inside of them. This is just a cheap headband I got for a few bucks at Target. These will make your hair look super cute. Also, I could just pin up all the back of it, and then, oh, it looks like I cared. So this is not something new. I talk about coconut oil all of the time. I got this from either Trader Joe's or Ralph's, just a grocery store down the street. This is virgin coconut oil, unrefined, cold pressed. I use this for everything from hair masks to moisturizer. This is usually what I put on my skin at night and in the morning. Right now it is liquidy because it is warm as F in my apartment, but if it gets cooler, it'll actually become a solid. So when it's in its liquid state, I'm going to scoop it out, put it into a little travel size, and then I will take it and use it as a moisturizer. It also, I think, inherently has SPF in it. 
Sunscreen is going to be the most important thing. I'm going to be out in the sun a lot. Uh, you should be wearing sunscreen every single day. I cannot stress that enough. This is the Banana Boat Protect and Hydrate Continuous Spray Sunscreen 2-in-1 UVA UVB Sunscreen 50 plus. I'm a big fan of sprays just because I, I'm an independent ass bitch and I don't like to ask people to help me put sunscreen on. But this stuff is amazing. It's also moisturizing. So two in one. And usually for my face I use a separate sunscreen just because I feel like sometimes stuff that is relegated for your body clogs my pores. So this is a sun protection cream 55 plus SPF. These are up and up cleansing towelettes for sensitive skin. These are actually really nice to wash your face with, to take makeup off with. They're super refreshing. I will use baby wipes a lot of the time because sometimes that can be cheaper to just get a huge tub of baby wipes. And this is a secret fat girl trick. Okay, this is Old Spice Fiji antiperspirant deodorant. That's not really the important part. Um, obviously, I can use this for deodorant if I want, but this is specifically for a chub rub situations. I'm going to be walking a lot, probably in shorts and skirts. I have thighs that touch, a lot of women do, and sometimes when your thighs touch, they create friction and awfulness and horribleness, and you think that you're dying. This will do in a pinch, any kind of powder deodorant. This is going to be a challenge for me because I wear a lot of, I think, um, more structured dresses and thicker materials. So the key for Bonnaroo is going to be wearing light, flowy things, things that can be layered, tank tops, uh, cover-ups like this, shorts. I just got this at Target. This is a little white vest jacket situation. This is going to be cute over any dresses, offer a little bit more protection. I have shoulder tattoo that I don't like to have out in the sun all the time. And it was in the junior section or like the girl section, but it was like a 2XL in the child section. So boom. There's a trick for you. Don't always just look in like the plus size or the women's section. Again, another thing that I got in like the girls section, this is an adorable white flowy lattice tank top. This is not a super long tank so my stomach probably is going to show a little bit especially if I move or live. But that's okay because I think an event like this people are just having fun and I think we're usually more worried about our bodies and people seeing them than people actually are worried about seeing them. There are going to be a lot of people wearing very little clothing and my, seeing my stomach is not going to be offensive to anyone that I actually care about. Again another thing that I got at Target um, this is gonna be hard to see, but basically, okay, yeah, there you go. Super cute, and then when you get to the bottom, it's kind of all see-through. I got this on clearance at Target. This is a scarf. I thought this was such a pretty pattern. Obviously, this is not just a veil. This can be used as a scarf for my hair, which is important. I have bleach blonde hair right now, so I want to avoid any kind of environmental exposure as much as possible, and sprays can only do so much, so this is going to be good as far as a head wrap. Uh, to kind of protect everything and just uh, keep my hair up. I got some comfortable tennis shoes. These were cheap at Target. Um, I like these because I feel like this is a neutral enough color that I can wear these with all the different outfits that I have. Also, red soles. What? I also recommend finding cute sandals. Um, I have these from a company called Not Rated. I got them online. And then these are from a company called Brash. I like these, I like these sandals that kind of connect around the heel and kind of keep them a little bit more sturdy uh, but aren't super bulky so these are going to be easy to pack. And finally, you don't want to be taking a bunch of jewelry, at least I don't. I, I feel like there's going to be so many things vendor-wise at the festival that I'm going to want to buy probably that I don't need to bring a bunch. But I did get this cute little necklace. It's got a little cat, a little cat profile sitting on it. I don't even really like cats, but I thought it was adorable. Finally, let's talk travel. Again, another thing from Target. I shop real cheap. This is a bag that Orla Keeley designed for Target. Um, I immediately loved the colors. Uh, obsessed. But also, when you open this up, so inside, this is where you would put your makeup and brushes and toiletries. And also, there's a hook on the inside, so when I show up, to wherever I'm staying, I can hang this on the door and kind of have everything in front of me. I got this very cool messenger style bag from Target. It was 20 bucks. Uh, I love floral pattern because I'm an 80 year old woman. It's got a ton of space. This will be good for carrying around at Bonnaroo, uh, a bunch of different pockets and things. But the thing that I loved about this was the strap you actually can undo and you can make it as tight or as long as you want. So for me, I'll probably keep it super loose so that I can hang it around my back. I don't want to be carrying a ton of water and I don't want to be paying a ton for water. So I actually have a Brita water bottle that I got from Target. Uh, this was at the suggestion of my friend Austin. It has a filter inside. So when I go here, it's probably gonna be all well water and stuff, but at least it will be a little bit better tasting and a little bit cleaner. I got some lemon mint herb throat drops. Um, I just love the taste of these and also if I'm going to be singing that weekend I want to make sure that everything 
is on point. So I am bringing some of these Luna Lemon Zest bars. I love anything lemon flavored. Um, and these will be good for just if I'm, I'm hungry between meals. There's gonna be a million people, so hand sanitizer, super important. This is a charger from Uniden. You can use this on um, iPads, cell phones, anything like that. Anything that can plug into this USB port. You basically can charge this on your computer, and then throughout the day if my phone's losing charge, I just plug it right into here and uh, I get an extra charge, which is nice to have. This is actually something that I saw a while ago. Uh, people like Andrea's Choice were promoting it on YouTube, I think a few years ago or a year ago, called Travelo. So this is a little perfume holder. You take the top off of your perfume. The bottom of this, there's like this little suction cup. You put it on top and you kind of like push down to get the perfume. So any perfume that you love, but you don't want to take the entire thing with you and you're scared it might break, you just put it in this little travel size thing and take it with you. And finally, camera. Um, um, I'm not going to be bringing my Canon T3i, which is what I use for all these videos. It's a little too big, but I do have a Sony NEX C3. Um, these are easier for traveling. It has a removable lens. This is my 18 to 55, but also I would probably just bring my 16. So it takes up like no space, and I can walk around taking pictures and videos of the festival. So that's what I'm taking to Bonnaroo with me. If you guys have been to the festival before or any music festivals and you have suggestions for things that I might be forgetting, leave them below in the comments. If you want to like and subscribe and comment and do all those fun things, I absolutely do. Yeah. And... Uh...